John chapter 8 verse 44 You are of your father the devil and the lust of your father you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not with the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks of his own for he is a liar and the father of it. Before we go deep into our topic, please quickly like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for supporting God's work. Jesus was speaking to a certain number of persons who claimed to be of God. But in reality, they didn't have the qualities of a real child of God. They also called on the name of the Lord but their hearts were truly far from God. Jesus had to make their identities known to them because they were filled with the identities of their father and that their father is the devil because they were filled with lies just like the devil. It is common knowledge that the number one identity of the devil is a liar. Jesus calls him the father of all liars. He is known for his numerous lies he has been telling God's creation right from the beginning. He told lies to one third of the angels of God in heaven and he was able to make them see him as a God. He didn't stop there. He was pushed off from heaven and he decided to also tell lies to the first man and woman. The same lie that he told the angels. He always tries to nullify God's instructions and make God look like the cause of the challenge. He lied to Adam and Eve and that lie caused them to disobey God's instructions. Jesus was making it so clear that if you are a liar, you are of the devil. So many people have made lies a part of living. They go around telling lies with no feeling of guilt. They even make up lies as truth. They lie their way to success. They lie to get the best things in this life. They lie to their partner to make themselves appear perfect. They lie to their friends so that they won't look like they are of a low class. They lie to their children. They lie about everything. They see no difference between telling the truth and a lie. In our world today, lies have become normal. But Jesus is saying it isn't right. This is why the Bible is the truth. It is not biased as to whether you are rich or poor, black or white, tall or short. It doesn't hold the truth from anyone as some do in our pulpits today. The Bible exposes your wrongs and helps you to live right. The same way we gain adoption into the family and fold of Christ by confessing the truth of his death and resurrection. In the same way, one can gain adoption into the family of devils by telling lies. It's a warning from God that not everyone is a child of God. I know that we are used to calling people children of God. But Jesus is clearly saying that there are children of the devil amongst us and there is no need to sugarcoat it. There is no excuse for lying. You may temporarily gain something because you lied, but you will also lose the most important thing your identity in Christ. God hates lying so much. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 16 to 17 says, These are six things the Lord hates. Yes, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood. God hates a lying tongue because that is the same trait the devil has. He manipulates the truth and uses it to deceive a lot of innocent people. According to God, there are no categories of lies. He did not classify lie into important and unimportant lie. A lie is a lie and he hates it. 
Are you a child of God or of the devil? Do you tell lie and claim to be a child of God? Clearly you know where you stand if you keep telling lies. You will end up in the pit of hell with the devil. This is not a sound judgmental. But you have a chance to save yourself from the fold of the devil. If you love God, you won't keep doing what God hates. God hates lies and if you love God, then you won't speak lies. God loves everyone, but he can't close his eyes to our wrongs, especially if he hates it. It is because he loves us that is why he's reminding us that we should also hate lies. The opposite of lie is truth. John chapter 4 verse 23 says, Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshippers will worship the Father in the spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshippers the Father seeks. God only seeks his worship in spirit and truth. God is seeking for true worshippers because there are also false worshippers. And this truth he's talking about here is a person. He is the man, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ is the truth that we need to be in so we can worship the Father. He is the truth that all men must follow so that we can know more about God. John chapter 14 verse 6 says, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. How have you been living your Christian life? Have you been living in the path of the devil? Have you been telling small lies as jokes? You may think it's not a problem at all, but Jesus tells us clearly that we will give firm account of every word that we speak. Matthew chapter 12 verse 36 says, But I say to you that for every idle word men may speak, they will give account of it in the day of judgment. Don't joke with your words. There is real power in your words. There is a real reason why Jesus Christ doesn't want us to be children of the devil. The reason is that all the children of the devil or people who tell lies are in satanic bondage. They live in bondage and the sad thing is that most of them don't know that they are in bondage. Lying will bring the yoke of the devil upon your life. It may look like lying is a cheap route, but it is also a route to bondage. The Bible tells us of this in John chapter 8 verse 32. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. It is the truth that makes us free. Those who tell lies live in bondage. All the children of the devil live under the oppression of the devil. What type of bondage do they live in? They live in the bondage of sin, causes, poverty, every evil that was laid upon the fallen nature of man. This is why we shouldn't be afraid of the truth. And one of the reasons a lot of people tell lies is because of fear. All kinds of fear have made people become children of the devil. The Bible tells us in Revelation 21 verse 8, it tells us of the fate of all liars. It says that but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and warmongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. God loves you. And that is why he wants you to reject the fold of the devil by living in his truth. If you have listened up to this point, I want to thank you for staying this far. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more videos on Christian living, perspectives, and faith. Like and share as well. 
We love to read your comment and hope to see your perspective. Once again, thanks for watching. Till next time, have a blessed day.